Hello and welcome to this video. I am Karnesh Jori and this video is about PS command in Linux. PS command prints information about processes. Since a computer executes programs or processes all the time, PS command tells us what the system is doing at that particular time. Let's start with PS command line options and respective outputs. The PS command gives processes that have the same effective user ID as that of the current user and invoke from the current terminal. So when we say PS, it lists bash and PS itself. Not very interesting, but wait. If we start a process in the background, say sleep 10 minutes, and now we give PS, the process running in the background is also listed. And suppose we start an editing session, we I sleep 10 minutes, and start a new shell from VI and then lose track of work, we can say PS and we get the full picture about the processes that were invoked from this terminal and have the same effective user ID as that of the current user. PS minus EF displays information about all processes in the system. The minus E option is to select all processes and minus F option is for the full report. The first column gives the process owner's user ID. The second column is the process ID and the third column gives the parent process ID. The next field is processor utilization. It is a CPU time used by the process divided by the clock time the process has been running and expressed as the integer value of the percentage. A high value indicates a CPU intensive process Next, we have the process start time, the terminal from which the process was invoked and the cumulative CPU time used by the process. And finally, we have the command, which is the program the process is executing. Sometimes, the ps command is used together with the grep command to select processes for display. For example, to find out the nginx processes in the system, we can say PS minus EF pipe to grep engine X. Then we have the uppercase minus F option, which is for extra full PS output. As we can see, it is more or less the same as PS minus EF output. However, there are three extra columns SZ, RSS, and PSR. SZ is a size in physical pages of the core image of the process. This includes code data and stack segments. RSS is the resident set size, the non-swept physical memory used by the process in Clobytes. PSR is the processor that the process is currently assigned to. We have seen that the command PS-EF gives information about processes. The output has one line per process. If we use PS with minus L option, we get information about threads in the output, one line per thread. We get two additional columns of output, LWP and NLWP. LWP stands for lightweight process, which is the jargon for thread. And here, the PID of thread is listed. The column NLWP is for number of lightweight processes, and here the number of threads for a process are given. Each process has at least one thread, which is listed. If there are any more threads, these are also listed. And getting back to the previous example where NGINX server had three processes, PIDs 2120, 2121 and 2122. We can see the threads using the minus L option and what we see is that each of the worker processes 2121 and 2122 have seven threads each. The ps-u command is for finding processes started by a user. For example, ps-u user1 tells us the processes of user1 which are bash and vi. We can specify a list of users. For example, ps-u user1, kjohri and get processes for both the users. The ps-t command lists processes associated with a terminal. So we can say PS-T 
PTS slash one and find processes associated with terminal PTS slash one. We can also pass a list of terminals as the argument. For example, we can find processes associated with PTS zero and PTS one with a command PS minus T PTS slash one comma PTS slash zero. With minus P option, we can pass a list of process IDs and PS prints information about these processes. For example, here we run PS minus F minus P one zero seven nine two comma one two nine zero six comma one seven one eight eight and PS prints information about these processes. Instead of using minus lowercase f or minus uppercase f options, we can use minus o option to customize the PS output as per our requirements. Here, PCP option gives CPU utilization under the column percent CPU. It is the CPU time used by the process divided by the clock time the process has been running expressed as a percentage. Similarly, PMEM is the ratio of process resident set size to the physical memory on the machine expressed as a percentage. NLWP is the number of threads in the process. With minus minus sort option, we can sort the PS output. For example, here we have sorted the PS output using PCPU and PMEM keys. When we are using PS inside a shell script, it is often desirable to skip the column headers. We can do that with minus minus no headers option. Here is an example PS minus EF minus minus no headers minus minus sort PCPU pipe to set 5Q pipe to awk print dollar one dollar two dollar seven dollar eight. The sort key is the CPU utilization. So the CPU intensive processes come on the top. The set command limits printing to top five CPU intensive processes. An awk prints user ID, process ID, cumulative CPU time, and the command name. Set works correctly because the headers have been omitted. And we come to the end of this video. You can find all this information at https colon double slash bit dot ly slash ps hyphen command. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and stay safe.